Boom, my name is Kim Scoggle and today I'll be showing you my new favorite tool to organize photos, uh, videos, documents, whatever it is you have on your computer. This tool can help you organize it really quickly and somewhat easy once you figure out uh, the shorthand or the, the codes you have to write. And uh, after that, once you have figured that out, this tool becomes incredible. It's probably the best free open source uh, organizing tool I've ever seen or tried and um, remember if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell leave your comments down below if you would like to try it I'm gonna show you where you can get it from so I'm just gonna open my browser browser here and we're gonna go here so it's the dropitproject.com I looked at a bunch of tutorials online. They are really old and most of them doesn't have any sound on it. And they've changed the interface from those tutorials. So I figure I'll make a really quick one here on how I use it to organize old photos that I have that doesn't have the file structure that I like it. So you just download it. Once you have downloaded it, you gotta unpack it, install it and all that. So yeah, I got it installed we're on the desktop this is how it's gonna look so you just double click it you're gonna open up a new one you can move this around when you right click on this you get association profile languages options hide guide about and exit we're gonna concentrate about this profile and association so the first thing you want to do is go make a new customized profile so hit uh, profiles and customize and you want to go down here to that plus sign and you want to name this profile something that you know what it is so organize photos uh, photo and videos photos and videos and then i'm just gonna because i have one already test and here you can add your own uh, image uh, thumbnail for it but i don't have any so we're just going to use it as this hit save now we can see here that if we drag this out a little bit we can see we have this new profile there so you just mark it hit this check mark and just to verify that we have it you can leave your um your mouse over here or go into profiles and then go down here to video and test click it if you now hold it over, you can see Organize Photos and Videos Test. So right click on this again. Now we're going to do the coding. It's not really coding, but I don't know a better word for it. So hit this new. So organize, organize files by ext. That's easier extension. So now you know that's what it's going to do. Here under rules is what you need to uh, put in some of the code it's not code but if you go here on this blue eye you can go click on it and you can see rule examples for so a star is all files uh, hashtag equals all files without other marks and you can see a star dot jpeg it's going to find all those and here you have a bunch of common ones so the way we're going to do this is we're going to hit the star and then the semicolon, I think this is. Um, look at this mark here. And then you're gonna hit double star and that icon again. Now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take, uh, sorry, that's the wrong one, the blue eye. We're gonna go down here to uh, files. We're gonna go common uh, images. And now we're going to add on that MOV. Um, so we can now hit this icon again, go here, and then common uh, videos. So here we have. Now we're going to sort them with all these extensions. And the action we're going to do is move. So now we've got to choose the destination folder to so just hit this uh, yellow envelope thing the search now we're gonna go to where we have it so i'm gonna do this um iphone folder that i have uh, from the last tutorial 
So I'm just going to find iPhone pictures and then we're going to organize photos here. We're going to make a new folder here. Organize by EXT. And this is the one we're going to use for this one. And then we're going to add in a couple of things. So just hit, um, we don't actually need to do anything else right now because we're going to hit a backslash here. And then we're going to hit percent, percent, go file EXT. It doesn't matter if you use caption or not. It's, it doesn't it doesn't matter for this. So now we can hit save. Now you can see we have this uh, this line here. So that's the name of our action. This is the rules which is gonna do, and that's where it all gonna end up. So now we're gonna make one more here, and we're gonna turn them off after each other. So hit this plus sign again. Now we're gonna go organize by year, month, and then uh, sub there, if we have a sub there. I'm gonna make a couple just so you can uh, see how that works. Again here, we're gonna do, this is just gonna be for pictures. So uh, organize pictures pictures by year month and sub there is so rules we're gonna hit the star that icon again two stars that icon again we're gonna go here we're gonna go grab all common uh, images and if you needed to add in DNG CR2s you just hit that sign and then you hit a star dot DNG then you can hit this one again star dot CR2, for example. And now you want to move them into a different folder. So we're going to go here and we're going to find my uh, drive here, pictures there, and iPhone pictures. And then I'm going to choose this one. So now we can see phone, uh, iPhone pictures, iPhone 6 organized photos. And now we're going to hit the backslash. We're going to go here. And I find that uh, modified is the best to choose here because if you just created a folder and put them in here, it's going to take today's date and say, oh, that's when these folder files were made. But created or modified, that's going to go all the way back to when you first took it and you probably looked at it or did something with it. So modified, I'm going to go out here and we're going to take a year modified, hit backslash. This blue button again, go to modified. Now we're gonna go down here to September, hit modified again. And then we're gonna go back in here, go to path and then subdirectory and then hit save. So now we have that. Now we gotta do the same thing for videos. So hit that plus again and organize, organize videos uh, by year month sub there we're gonna add the same rule here tab this one or uh stars that one double stars that one now we, only difference is we're gonna go here and we're gonna take common videos so there we have them we're gonna move it again i'm gonna take this one and we're going to now go here and find that same place where you have it or you want to move it to. So iPhone pictures. That's photos and iPhone 6 movies. So I'm going to check, take the movies here. Just select that folder. Hit backslash. Go back here. Modified year. Backslash. Modified. Uh, month name modified backslash and then uh, subdirectory here again if some pro I'm gonna make one there too so now we are basically finished with this so we just have to go here uncheck these ones to begin with and then we're gonna hit this check mark close cool so I'm gonna open up digicam here 
because we're gonna make one subdirectory here really quickly that way you get to see how this uh, whole thing works so now we have the date the time and day just this will be our subdirectory but we can take it one step further and it will hold it so it won't happen now on the first one because we're going to sort all these but jpegs separate jpegs from mov files and so on so we're just going to take this down we're going to open up our explorer here you can see this stays on top of your windows so just go to picture we're going to find this iphone folder and we will open it and now this is the one with all the files and folders on so we're just going to drag and drop it on top there and now it says you're trying to process a large size of file 4.31 gigabytes it may take a long time do you want to continue hit yes